Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, excuse the chopping and changing of formats from live streaming to uh, pre-recorded Let's Plays, but the last live stream didn't go so well. Um, uh, my stream, my up, upload connection was, was poor, and things didn't go well at all. Um, so... On the last episode, just before it went started going wrong, we were we were warding off Derval's attack on Meridian. We got his bomb uh, disarmed to some degree, and we fought his Glinthawks, and we battled him to uh, to submission. And uh, I'm just what I'm going to do now is play the last cut scene. But before I do, what do you prefer? Do you prefer these Let's Plays, or do you prefer watching the live stream, uh, either live or later on, where um, I have interaction with you and, uh, and and get more closer to your to your thinking as well? Let me know what you think. Okay, here's that cutscene. As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Erend, you'll screw it up! I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. Okay, what we're going to do now is we can uh, talk to Avard, we can talk to Erend, we can talk to Duval, D Duval. Duval's in prison. The Osaram warlord Duval kidnapped and tortured Ursa, who later died of her wounds. Oh no. Now he's on his way to Meridian to take revenge on the Karja. He must be stopped at all costs, and he bloody well was. So let's see where we can. Uh, that's to Duval. Let's go and speak to who we need to speak to. Here we go, here's Avard. Aloy, to say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. Right. We can sense a little bit. Just a modicum of flirtatiousness here from Avard. He sw switched his... Um, his... Uh, hmm, his affection, seemingly, from Ursa, who, who he can no longer uh, uh, be with, to Aloy, who he finds, uh, finds a very similar character. Were you and Ursa, you know? I suppose it's obvious how I feel, how I felt about her. She didn't just give me advice. She gave me strength. But we couldn't be together. Relations between the Karja and Osaram and Meridian were unsteady as it was. The union of the Sun King and an Osiram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. And probably war with the clans. Did anyone know? Only one. Derval. He wanted Ursa, but she rejected him. And so jealousy became yet another of his hateful motivations. Um, so that, uh, we're assuming this was after his wife and child were, were murdered in the Red Raids. That's what we assume. Um, but we're not sure. 
What exactly will happen to Durval? For now, he'll languish in one of the old cells under the Sunring here in Meridian. As for what happens after we negotiate his expedition to Mainspring, I don't want to think about it. My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering. But some Asaram devices surpass even his imaginings. What a waste. Durval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. That is a real shame, isn't it? We saw how brilliant he, he, he is. Um, he's obviously of, of, of an Osiram origin, and, and they know how to construct these amazing weapons uh, and uh, objects of pain. But Durval was a, a, a cut above most, and he produced um, sound waves that crippled, crippled people. Um, and he produced a sound recording device, which was far beyond any of um, anyone else's thoughts um before you know, what the the data um glyphs we're finding around the place are are from you know the old world but he produced such amazing inventions why do you want me to stay in meridian well, i would think that would be obvious not to me huh. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You were strong, shrewd, and, and capable. I could use someone like you at my side. No. You'll, you'll know my thoughts on this. I'm, I'm sticking with these two. Um, and I like this one. I love, I love Aloy is this hard no-nonsense cutting through the bullshit character let me get this straight your warrior princess is barely cold in her grave and you're lining me up to take her place w what no, son and <laughs> shadow that's not what i meant all right i i can see how my choice of words came off as presumptuous but i meant no disrespect by the sun this is not how i imagine this conversation would go oh i feel Look, sorry for it i'll him. be forever grateful and you are always welcome here. Let's just hope our next chat goes better than this. One. <laughs> I like him. Even if he is flirtatious, he's not too pushy and not too creepy. Um, and I, I genuinely felt for him there as he, he felt he was misinterpreted. But um, Aloy just doesn't, doesn't take any messing. She sets her stall out straight away, and that's what she's done here. So any romance, we, we, we don't see any romance with um, with Aloy, not in this. It'd be interesting to see if we see it in Forbidden West. But there's um, there, there probably are other times, but um, Avard uh, has feelings for, for Aloy. Eren does as well. Um, there's, a, there's a few others that I'm... Um, I'm missing. Yeah, this would be interesting to see. Aloy. I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but. I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do, right? <laughs> you're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. Yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Durval. Yeah, don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're going to make me tear up. So we've got Duval. Hmm. What do you think the Osirim will do to Duval? First off, they'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. 
In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. So, after all this, what's next for Errand Vanguardsman? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit chat, more drinking. Okay. Well. I know, you gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master, all before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. Now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two? Huh. She likes me. There's no more attractive um, trait than being able to admit that your ego got the better of you at one stage and giving, you know, showing humility in a genuine way. There is no better trait that can overcome any, any disagreement by saying I was wrong. And, um, you know, we all liked Erin anyway, but that just shows his maturity now. He got a little sort of dressing down um, from the dying words from his sister and he's got to put his drinking knock his drinking on the head sort of overcome his traumas and his misgivings in a, in a different way rather than medicating with things that, that kind of uh, circumvent the, the, the emotional pain that they're trying to get rid of but it's, it's really great that we get to see him in in the Forbidden West in uh, seemingly a, a, a quite a substantial way but for now that's the last we see of him until very much later he's going to go and do what he needs to do up in his homelands bury his sister um, take Duval back with him but in the meantime we're going to go and see Duval I think where is he oh I think we've lost him momentarily I've got to go and find him I'm also thinking back to what I was saying about um, people who have got who are keen on um, Aloy I, I've got to have a bit of a brain fart because um, the, the, the Nora uh, son of the, the war chief <laughs> his names are, are not coming to me what's his name I'll put it up on the screen now because I'll edit this in a bit where's Duval I'm just going to have a little run round for him, see what we can see. Don't ask me where to go. Where are you, Tufal? It did have a marker, but as soon as we spoke to Aaron, that marker was lost. What I'll do is, if I can't find it, I'll dig out my pre recorded footage and put that conversation in here just so we understand. It's a. It's a funny exchange, whatever it is. It's a funny exchange, but I can't remember where they are. Okay. What have we got now? Let's go and pick up this quest here. At the hunting lodge. While we're in Meridian. Osaram and Karja together has caused a few people a bit of pain, a bit of emotional distress seeing the two tribes work together. So they've, they're having, they're having to live together. But here we are. The wonderful, beautiful Hunting Lodge. A strange organisation. What have we got here? They're burning... This is... This is some kind of grill? Some kind of food grill where they cook meats and things? I'm guessing, and have a nice drink. It's a, it's a social club. The saviour of the Sun King. Lagan. You would have the marks. Very well then. Congratulations, and welcome. 
Our members reap rewards and adventure and live on in legend. Am I a member now? No, you're only a fledgling. Junior members are called thrushes. To join and become a thrush, you need a senior member called a hawk to sponsor you. So I need to find a hawk? Yes, but a hawk can only sponsor one hunter at a time, and I'm afraid most of them already have one. I've overcome worse odds. Where do I start? Upstairs, present yourself to the Sun Hawk Assis, our leader, who should introduce you to a hawk. I hope it's worth it. What do you mean? You'll see. Right, we're going to see Assis, who's not, won't be too happy to see Aloy, um, for some very snooty and elitist reason. We've got a cracking bit of music here. We're in the hunting lodge and we're gonna find some adventure. Ooh, some adventure. Ooh, some adventure. Ooh, some adventure. Yeah. Right, let's find a season then let's go round and find all the various um, jobbies. All the various jobbies. Ah, Sears! Excuse us. Ah, the machine rider graces us with her presence. You're Anora, are you not? A fighter from the Savage Lands. The sacred land, but yes, I fought for everything I got. Huh. Tell me, do the Nora often wander into other people's homes and do whatever they like? Of course not. But that is what you're doing. Oh, he's right not now. not very welcoming. Stinking up our lodge, pestering your betters. You're hardly my better. Legan said I had to meet you to become a member. That would be true if there were any chance of you becoming a member. But you're a savage. And no savage will rise in the ranks of the Hunter's Lodge while I am the Sun Hawk. Now be gone. No. I was led to believe there are rules here. If they count for nothing, then even your position is meaningless. So quit blustering and tell me. Is there a Hawk who is free to sponsor me? Very well. Talana is free. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fitting? Trash sponsoring trash. Now get out of my sight. Now it'd be good to re refresh about Talana. I'm, I'm not sure she's not uh, pure. Pure in terms of what Aziz thinks is pure. Um, so we'll find out more about her. But there's a the, the first issue of the graphic novel, uh, Horizon graphic novels contains Talana uh, and I've just received it this morning in the post so I'm it's, it's, it's timely that we go on this quest because I can re read about their ongoing relationship Talana where are you I need you what well, we've got Palavad okay and Malesh so, what these guys got to say? I can't believe Redmaw defeated Tarkas. He was such a good hunter, but Redmaw is a beast of a Thunderjaw. I'd never face it. Can't believe Redmaw defeated oh. Tarkas. He was such a good hunter, but oh. Redmaw is a beast of a Thunderjaw. I'd never face it. We will encounter Redmaw. I'm a member. Go bother the other sludges and leave me alone. Okay, he's not too happy to see us. Um, here she is. Nope. Where are you, Talana? Tafna? Tafana? How are we getting round? That's Kodo. I've been trophy hunting for years. Still haven't gotten a sponsor. I'd asked Talana to sponsor me, but her sponsor just died. I can't imagine what she must be going through. 
Right, so she, this uh, particular aspiring thrush doesn't want to uh, impose upon Talana at this time due to her grief. She's being very empathetic, but that may be her downfall. So we're going to sweep in there with no no such thoughts. Tark is impressed with his skills, but he spotted Talana. Now we're left with her. She had fallen instead. Oh, that's not nice. Why, hello there. Hello, are we, we're trying to find Talana. Is she upstairs? Where is she? Here she is. Here, Talana? Assis said you were a hawk without a fledgling to sponsor. Or are you trying to drive me off too? It's okay, I've dealt with worse. Mm. I'll bet you have. But you're wrong. It's not okay. Especially not today. Today? What's going on today? What happened today? One of our own just died fighting Red Maw. You'll never face a more dangerous Thunderjaw. Talk us. Cut through trees, rocks, people. I'm sorry to hear that. It's part of the hunt. So she was sponsored as a hawk by Tarkus, I'm guessing. Um, let's talk about that position. How does one become a hawk? When a hawk dies, his thrush is promoted in his place. Because of that reason. No matter how anyone feels about it. Okay, um, so Legan, Tegan or Legan, he's a, he's, he's a nice guy. Who is this Legan, the man at the door? Legan? He's a hawk. He had an impressive run in his day, but he doesn't fight anymore. He supports the Lodge in other ways. Unlike the other hawks, who hoard all the best kills and drink the bar dry. That's who we'd be. We'd uh, we'd be one for all and all for one, and we'd we'd share the we'd share the successes and the learnings and the teachings. We wouldn't be adversarial. Right, let's speak about this twat. Assis, what's his story? He's the Sun Hawk of the Lodge. The highest ranking asshole <laughs> sorry, member. He's taken down ravagers, stalkers, behemoths. So? I've taken down a lot of machines. We have. As have I. Even brought down two stormbirds. But he's a hawk who brought in the trophies first. And that's how it works. Well, Whichever we... hawk defeats the greatest machine first becomes a sun hawk. We have not defeated a stormbird yet. Glint hawks, but stormbirds no. So whatever missions we have here to uh, to get to go after these machines, I think we need to get our weaponry sorted out first. Is there any actual hunting in this lodge? So far it's been all talk. <laughs> yes, of course. You fight a machine, then bring its trophy to assist the Sunhawk, then no one can deny you brought it down. Time to get I'm started. ready to hunt, so tell me, what do I have to do? You want them to regret looking down on you? Then speak to them in their language. Kill three sawtooths, two ravagers, and a stalker. Deliver their trophies directly to Assis. That should shut them all up. So if I do that, you'll sponsor me. I'll consider it. Just to make Assis boil. So that's five animals, five machines we've got to, to kill in order to catch the eye of uh, Talana for a start, but also to let Assis know we mean business. So we're going to go on our quests, find the machines, kill them and take their parts. Then we'll bring them back to the lodge and show her seeds. Nah, yeah, we'll bring them back to the lodge and show her seeds. By the sun, King of Odd's edict really is taking effect. Never thought I'd see a Nora here and a woman at that. So, you have marks for me? What do you mean? From the hunting grounds. Oh, right. You're new here. Of course we've got marks. Um, what do you want with my marks? You hunters and your badges. My bumps. I'm not going to take them. My lady bumps. I'm going to give you a weapon that sets you apart. Yeah, I thought that'd get your attention. If you earn marks in all three trials at each of the five hunting grounds, come to me. I can give you up to three weapons, one for 15 half-suns, one for 15 full-suns, and one you'll love for all blazing suns. 
do forgive me I've forgotten what uh, the, the the kind of uh, the caliber of the weapons they're giving are, are, are they the be-all and end-all um, are they are they worth worth striving for I can't remember what do I do with these marks if you get the same mark from all the hunting ground trials I can give you a hunter's lodge weapon I'm gonna see what this one is what marks you've earned and we'll see if you qualify for one of these special weapons I have for you I'm a little short on marks Huh. No problem. Once you have marks from all 15 trials, you'll be able to get the next Hunter's Lodge weapon from me. I see. I see. What we do is we... Whatever the marks we've got, there's certain weapons. There's, I think there's three weapons for the different tiers, but we need all... We need uh, marks from all of them. Okay. Well, let's look at these... Let's read these data... Glyph... Data points. Uh, bylaws of the Lodge. Scan glyphs. Bylaws of the Hunter's Lodge, Section 1, Preamble. Bloody hell. Settle in. 1.1. The hunt is the noblest pursuit in the Sundom, save those of the Sun King and his Sun Priests. The hunt is strength, the hunt is honour, the hunt protects, the hunt preserves. So there's this huge kind of steeped in history and honour that they're looking to protect here by not having um, foreigners come in and take our jobs. 1.2 what is the hunt but competition what is competition without rank honor and and victor the lodge lends law and law to the hunt so all will know who has prevailed thus the lodge is not just its members and not just its house in meridian it is the spirit of the hunt a code to be honored and ideal to be lived well that 1.4 that backs up um a vast decision to let in um, anyone who's who's able to 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 do it to do the job it's not just its members, not just its house. It's the spirit of the hunt, and the spirit of hunt, the hunt can live on in uh, in in anyone that can hunt. Only those of the noblest blood, here we go, can embody the noblest ideals. As such, only Kaja males of pure blood may honour the lodge and tread its house. So it's criminal in two counts that Aloy comes in, because um, she's not Kaja and she's not male. She doesn't have appendage. By order of his Radiance of Ard, 14th Sinkhunter's Kaja, Bylaw 5 of the section is hereby rescinded. There we go. No hunter shall gain admittance to the lodge without three half sons, one with honour at any hunting ground. We've got those. There are two class members, Hawk being senior, Thrush being junior. The rank of Thrush can only be gained through the sponsorship of a Hawk. Each Hawk may sponsor only one Thrush. There can only be there can be only seven Hawks. A Thrush, so there's only seven Hawks at one time, and a Sun Hawk. Uh, a thrush can only become a hawk through the death of the, his sponsor. The hawk who hunts the greatest prey shall become sun hawk and lead the lodge. In the event the quality of prey is in dispute, the hawk who hunted first shall remain first as sun hawk. Only Kaja males of pure blood may become thrush, hawk or sun hawk. And his radiance has rescinded that one. This is about proof of the hunt. The greatest hunts often bear no witness, therefore a trophy must be kept. A trophy must be submitted to the Sun Hawk as proof of the various hunt, uh, victorious hunt. A trophy must be intact and damaged and from a recent hunt. The Sun Hawk shall have final authority in any dispute over a trophy's worth. Okay, so Aziz has got a great deal of control, a great deal of sway in, in ratifying anything we bring in. Only Kaja males of pure blood can submit a trophy that is of course rescinded to protect and serve a hunt for its own sake is noble a hunt in the service of others is blessed by the sun when called upon hawks and thrushes must undertake any reasonable hunt expected of them it serves to protect the citizens of the sundom well a hunt for his own sake is why the um the uh, the machines are producing more and more violent ones it's to protect themselves against these hunters uh, so they must take any unreasonable hunt asked of them if it serves to protect the citizens of the Sundom. The Sunhawk has sole authority to negotiate any fees or bounties associated with any hunt undertaken by members of the Lodge on behalf of the Sundom. Any profit from any hunt undertaken by members of the Lodge on behalf of the Sundom shall be shared by all seven hawks. Only Kaja males of pure blood may undertake a hunt in the name of the Lodge, be it for the protection of the Sundom or any other reason. Well, that's rescinded. Hunting grounds. For the purposes of training and recruiting the best and greatest hunters, the lodge shall provide and maintain the hunting grounds. Each hunting ground shall test a different range of skills through the three trials crafted by its keeper. In consultation with a Sunhawk, 
There shall be three rewards for each trial. We know that. Hunters have proved themselves by winning the requisite numbers, entitled to special gear. The lodge shall provide funds for the construction and maintenance of all the trials and receive all profits associated with the sale uh, of equipment from all the hunting grounds. Any profits from the hunting grounds shall be shared by all seven hawks. Keepers shall be chosen exclusively by the sun hawk and serve for a term of seven years. Only Karja males of pure blood. Well, that's not true at all, is it? Okay, so we know exactly what's going on here and we know exactly their problem with these rules that have suddenly been usurped to some degree and um, belittled and, and sullied by Avard from their point of view. Let's see, there's another one around here. That is a nice bit of supply cratage. I think there, 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 is, there is at least one more of these data points. There is. There's one there. There's one there. Record of Red Moor. Wow. By inquiring Jan Dinaman, historian and residence at the Hunter's Lodge, it's well known that facts recede into fictions as they become memories, and fresh facts themselves are ephemeral among the rumours and legends of the South. This is especially true in the case of Redmore, that most terrible of Thunder Jaws, a machine which is nothing if not legendary. Few who have ever laid eyes upon it have survived, and among them even fewer can be trusted not to embellish their tales. All that said, here I have endeavoured to truthfully chronicle all the calamities attributed to the beast and all the expeditions meant to end such calamities once and for all. None have succeeded, as of this writing. The terror of the South still roams free, scarred perhaps, but deadly, as the day the sun first shone upon its armoured hide. In the early spring of the 18th year of the reign of the Sun King Juran, a freehold was destroyed near the hands of the Flood. Nine bodies were recovered, eight riddled with cannon rounds, one flattened completely. No witnesses survived, Though never proven, this is wildly thought to be, a re to be Redmore's first attack. In the late spring of the 18th year of the reign of the Sun King Juran, an expedition of four hunters set out from the Sunstone Rock to track the machine, or machines responsible for the destruction of the Freehold, none returned. Their bodies were subsequently found in the south, three blasted, one stomped, never proven, but thought to be Redmore's work. In the early summer of the 18th year of the reign of the Sun King Juran, an expedition of six mercenaries set out from Meridian to track the machine, or machines responsible for the losses described above. One returned, ribs crutched, clavicle fractured. He spoke of a thunder jaw which split a man in half with a single bite. This is the first confirmed sighting of the legendary machine, and the one which gave it its name. It a name. In the late summer of the 18th year of the reign of the Sun King Juran, an expedition of eight set off from Meridian to track Redmore. None returned. Six bodies were found near Blackwing, Snag. One blasted, three stomped, two eviscerated, one swallowed his own tongue, evidently in a spasm of terror, suffocating. In the autumn of the 18th year, commanded the Southern King Durand commanded the Hunter's Lodge to send an expedition south in pursuit of Redmore. After numerous logistical delays, three hawks and three thrushes set out in winter. Only one pair returned, reporting the deaths of the others, two blasted, one stomped, one decapitated. The survivors were sacrificed for cowardice. After this setback, members of the lodge grew wary of producing the, the legendary, of pursuing the legendary Thunderjaw. Only the proudest hawks ever considered it. Aspirants to the lodge, however foolish in their ambition, eagerly took part in subsequent hunts. In the summer of the nineteenth king, nineteenth year, uh, the destruction of a caravan south of Spurflints, three blasted, two stumps, one immolated. I don't know what that means. Immoli immo immolated. I don't know what that means. Uh, reignited interest in Redmore. Three expeditions totally, totaling 15 mercenaries went after the machine, with only three survivors, nine blasted, three stomped, two eviscerated, one liquefied. In the early spring of the 20th year of the reign of the Sun King Juran, a cohort of 12 soldiers headed from the rain gathers to the Alight where, were set upon by the beast. Only one survived, one blasted, one stomped, ten crushed, when their fleeing footsteps triggered an avalanche. 
In the late spring of the 20th year of the reign of the Sun King Duran, three cohorts totalling 34 men went in search of Redmore. Alas, they were ambushed by stalkers and only four survived. 24 snipes, six exploded. Understandably, this ended pursuit of Redmore for some time. So in the first year of uh, Sun King Avad, six opera Osram traders were attacked by the beast. The lone survivor petitioned Captain Ursa to send the vanguard after the mon monster, but the request was de denied. However, three additional expeditions comprised of mercenaries and hunters were subsequently commissioned. So autumn, seven men, one survivor. Winter, nine men, two survivors. Spring, 11 men, two survivors. The last known sighting of Redmoor occurred in the spring of the third year of the reign of the Sun King of Ard. Tarkas, we've heard about him and his death. Hawk of the Lodge got a word of the sighting near Thunderhead and set off to take the beast on his own. His thrush, Talana, who we are hoping to become the thrush of, arrived at the scene too late. Just as Tarkas was dying of his wounds, Talana testified that as Redmore lumbered off through the trees, she could see the spear of her mentor embedded in its hide. So hopefully we can have a look at that. I didn't see that when I have battled the Red Moor. Okay, let's have a little chat to a C, see if he's got anything more to say. I believe I made myself perfectly clear. Nope. Just having a look around to see if there's any more data points we have missed. Who are you? Just a random dude? He's a flirtatious little beast. I think there's one over here. Yes. Legendary Hunts. So, Legendary Hunts of the Lodge. In the summer of the fourth year of the reign of the Sun King, did f Mazid did Faraquaz? Uh, Sunhawk of the Lodge behold a herd of grazers so fast that it filled the entire vale below the far back. His bow was a harp that day. Wow, that's poetic. His bow was a harp, strumming the melody of the hunt from noon to twilight. After one could not walk a single step across the glen without tripping on an antler of the fallen, it took all seven hawks and all seven thrushes to gather the trophies. And with the bounty from their barter, the last wing of the lodge was raised. In the winter of the seventh year, the Sun King Hivas did Darasiv, Hawk of the Lodge, stalk a herd of tramplers from the Sand Whisper Valley to the foothills of the Pale Reach. Bombs from his sling fell as hailstones, freezing his prey and the waters of the ford. While the others stood as statues in ice, Hivas set upon the largest, driving his spear between its plates and taking his trophy before the rest could even stir. In the spring of the third year of the reign of the Sun King Duran, as the machines of the wilds grew even more deranged, did Carvum, Hawk of the Lodge, answer the call from the prefect at Day Tower to slay the mysterious creature who ripped his best cohort limb from limb. So we helped out Day Tower, didn't we, with those corrupt corruptors and watchers? Four days and four nights he tracked his quarry through the savage east before the brute was revealed, strong as a snap, snap jaw, fast as a strider. From twilight to midnight the battle raged, but Kavim, Ka Kuvam prevailed at great cost. His left arm chewed ragged at the joint. Thus he named the best sawtooth as uh, thus he named the beast Sawtooth as he took his trophy from his shattered remains. Okay. So these are fairly new machines at that stage. So the Sawtooth was kind of knocking down the walls of um, the Embrace at one stage, uh, only in the last 10 years. So the third year of King Duran. I'd forgotten how many years he reigned. I think it was a fair few. Well, in the eighth year of his reign, as the machines of the wilds grew more deranged, did G Galadid, Hawk of the Lodge, follow the shivering death, haunting the southern freehold in the jungles of the Jewel. Oh, yes. Under the tangled canopy, the hunter became the hunted, glimpsing in the shadows more of the eerie lights, till he was surrounded by machines he named stalkers. Long was his flight through the undergrowth to the safety of the alight. But along the way, he turned his bow to his pursuers and became the first to snare a trophy from that which walks in glinting shadow. We need one of those to get our foot in the door here with Talana. In the summer of the 13th year of the reign of the Sun King, Jiran, 
as the machines of the wilds grew even more deranged to disease. Here we are. There's your man. So he he was dur during the reign of Sun King Duran. So maybe he's got allegiance or sympathies with him. Because he's quite elitist, it kind of makes sense if he has. Hawk the Lodge dared to tread the path of broken trees, following the wake of the terrible thing that laid waste to the freehold of morning light. And so he was first to face the might of the Thunderjaw, greatest of the machines that walked the earth, with spear, bomb and arrow. Brave as these fought to no avail, and only triumphed by turning the terror's own cannons against it. The carcass of the beast now hangs in the lodge for all to see, so enshrined, because it f its fall turned Hawk to Sun Hawk. So because he's got the best machine, um, arguably the best machine, um, it's the best machine on land, it, uh, uh, Stormbird is perhaps just as prolific. Strange, isn't it? Because um, Talana has taken down two storm birds. We don't know what um, Aziz has done, but his his kill is here. Now that's must feel good, mustn't it? To come into work and your amazing kill, the first ever Thunderjaw to be uh, immortalised in the in the in the mezzanine. You must feel like the tits. But now all and sundry are coming in. Look at this girl, this savage. Coming in here, thinking she can compete with her betters. I think that's disgusting. The savior of the Sun King. You would have the marks. Very well then. Congratulations and welcome. Our members reap rewards and adventure and live on in legend. Am I a member now? No, you're only a fledgling. Mm -hmm. Junior members are called thrushes. To join and become a thrush, you need a senior member called a hawk to sponsor you. We've done that, so haven't we? I need to find yes, but a hawk can only sponsor one. So we know that. Sods. Where do I Upstairs, present yourself. We've what done you this, You'll we've see. done this, we've done this. I thought there might be something new there, but as it went on, I realised, no, we have heard. So we like League and we don't like Aziz. That's the rule. That's the rule. League and Zale, Ligon is a good guy. He's got just as much history within the... within the, the Lodge as, as Aziz, but he's less of a, a snob. Okay. Let's look at these quests. So, that's ongoing. So that is a rock breaker that I don't feel personally ready for. I think let's get amongst the map for a while. Let us do that. I want to take down this corrupted zone here. Okay, we're in this camp here, so we need to get out. It's not always that easy. I wonder if we can cheese it over here. Yes, we can. Okay, so down in these areas here, down in these rocky, cavernous, carved out valleys, we can see a few items. We've got a trampler. We've got a long leg. Plenty of long legs. So, um, his body is weak to... Let's see if we can cheese it from up here. And then we can go down once we've got everything. What are we doing? Um, let's try this for now. Could really do with a better, better sling. That's good. That's fine and dandy. That does a great deal of tear, but not much damage. So I'm going to go for this one. Let's go for his. There we go. Still got some time here. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, that's nice. Oh dear, what's happened? I wasn't I wasn't taking a good look. Okay, so he has been Right, let's get our Let's get our fire on. This isn't tennis, is it? It's not the it's not the way. Okay. He has been knocked down temporarily. Oh, he's limping. There we go. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay, so that has sorted that guy over there. Free reign on this bad boy. Let's work in that. One more. Oh. One over there, you chief. So these guys need some some help. Okay. Here's the corrupted zone. We go again. They can't see me at present. Right, we need some. Hmm. We want our shadow trip cast, and we're going to put it on there for that one. And we're going to. Do this. Okay, right. You're not going to like this. Okay. Okay, so just the tramplers left. Picking up the shards, picking up the staff. Luminous braiding. We need, oh no, we need crystal braiding. Right, before we do this, we have got a beastly mod here. What have we got? Handling coil, a 57% handling coil. You cannot get much better than that. So, we need to hope. I think we need to hope that we are not going to lose that by dying. This guy is going to hurt. No, because I'm going to set him on fire. I thought he. Let's get. Forgot about this. That hurt it. Okay, come close, come close, my boys. Okay, I don't want to die. I don't know why I'm trying to go up here. going to achieve probably a fair amount right I'm gonna get him on fire again okay okay right
Right, his mate has already been got good. Just stay out of their way for now. So if we can lure him over here, with promise of a good old. Clear. It wasn't fancy, but it was controlled, measured, beastly, and that has produced some lovely moments. So we've got a handling, and one of these. an amazing handling mod. We've got um, some more points, some more levels, and that is just tickety boo. That is just tickety boo. Let's go and try and nestle that handling coil in here somewhere and then go and save our game. Because we don't want to lose that ever again. Ever. Ever again. Yeah, you don't get much better than 57% from a coil, from a mod, would you say? Does it go in the 60s? Does, does that happen? Let's see what we've got just, um, going on. Um, over here on the card, a mighty bow. We're all right with that for handling, but it'd be great to chuck some handling into this one to make it better. Oh, we've got this one. That, that would be better, wouldn't it? So we've got that damage core. Let's take out this tear and chuck this handling coil in there. And that also adds a nice bit of damage as well. Boom. Um, what have we got here that's good? That's 17%. No, we're all right there. Okay, I think that's nestled well. Let's, um, so the sling at the top, that's fair. That there. We've got our Karja Shadow Hunter bow that currently isn't equipped. Because what I'm enjoying at the moment, and what we'll enjoy even more, now we've got some handling in it, is using the sharp shot bow to good effect when when animals when animals when machines are burning. But if we just look at this here, that has definitely got a lot quicker with that fifty seven percent handling. So that is a great moment for me. Clear that up later. What, what are we missing here that we can't hold on to? Nothing. Trampler. So, looking at the quests over here, if we look at weapons for the lodge... Is it errands? No, we haven't got any of those. We need Sawtooth, Ravager, or Stalker. Right, what I'm going to do is head over here, save. Can't get up there. Head over. What should we do next, then? I think we need to go to make his end next. So what we'll do is we will travel up here, head to Maker's End, and um, get a bit of lore up in our up in our shit. Let's do that. 